I'm guessing that you keep some pretty sensitive information in your calendar, so you're going to want to make sure you know how that calendar is shared. So if you're in an organization like a business or a school uh, like I'm in right here, you're going to look at the... The, the sharing settings. So go to your calendar and then over in the left column, you'll see my calendars and then you'll see your name. And when you hover over your name, you'll see those three vertical dots. Click on those dots, click sharing and setting, and then scroll down to access and permissions. You're going to want to look at this box, access and permissions, and the share with specific people. If you don't want anyone to see your calendar, make sure those boxes are unchecked and that you don't have anybody here listed here that you don't want to see your calendar. Of course, you're going to be able to see your own calendar. Now, you may want to make your calendar available to the public, and it's going to give you, if you check that, it's going to give you a warning, hey, your, your calendar is going to be public, so people outside of your organization will be able to see information in your calendar. I like to make mine public, but I always set it so that it's only free busy. So people outside of my organization can see whether I'm busy or available and uh, they can uh, attempt to make an appointment with me based on my calendar. That way we don't, I don't have to go back and forth with them over and over uh, regarding the free and busy time. If I uncheck this, now everyone in my organization can see events and details. Now you're going to want to check this because the default could be set this way and maybe you just want people in your organization to see free busy time. So you can click here and you can just check it to see only free busy time. Then you're going to want to go down here and check, uh, figure out what individuals inside or outside of your domain that have settings that are different than your general settings. And just double check how do you want your calendar saved and, and shared. If you want to lock it down so that only you can see it, make sure these boxes are unchecked and make sure that there's nobody listed here.